Hey, welcome back, welcome back, guys. How y'all doing today? Welcome back to another episode of The Drive Through, which is a OG, old school podcast I used to do all the time. For those of you who are new and not familiar, I do it every now and again when I'm out and about. This is kind of the workshop where a lot of my ideas come out. I just kind of uh, throw a bunch of stuff on the wall and see what really sticks for me, what really works. Uh, it's just kind of a transparent you know, all-inclusive podcast where I talk about anything. So I wanted to kind of cover something that uh, came through my feed today that I uh, really was digging into, the whole uh, OGL-related content. Uh, this is something I uh, I don't really talk about on the forefront when it comes to the actual... It's, it's too meta, so I, I put it here. So here's the thing. Uh, D&D Shorts, uh, who is a content channel, a uh, D&D content channel, he started out as doing a lot of shorts, obviously, uh, where he would basically teach you how to power game, how to combo, how to stack. I call it the stack when you're stacking. Uh, in, in Magic the Gathering, uh, another another product by Wizards, Wizards of the Coast, uh, you can combo off. You can put a bunch of combos together, uh, a bunch of cards together, and create combos, multiple combos, and then the effects would stack. So I call it the stack. Um, I'm not sure if that's a term that people use, but that's a term I use to kind of explain what's happening, right? It's not the normal combo, which is a one, two, three thing. This is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here we go. Um, so here's the thing. He started out as a stack channel, which is good, you know, pretty cool. I enjoyed it. Even normal gamers, normal, quote unquote, normal. Ga- the, 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 the current modern day gamers, right? Video gamers. They... They like that too. They like to watch like people, you know, come up with creative ways to create new effects, right? Things that were not quite intended and turn it into something intended, right? Something that's new. Um, I think that's part of innovation. That's part of creativity. That's part of the entire artistic side of being a gamer, finding new ways to accomplish goals that no one ever thought of before. It's a, it's, it's a puzzle. It's like the, it's like the perfect hybrid between, you know, being artistic and being, uh, you know, uh, a puzzle solver, right? Is that happy in between nexus between the logic brain and the creative brain? Um, anyways, let me go ahead and lower this so then you don't hear too much of the uh, windshield wiper. I'm driving in the snow. It's a blizzard out here. Um, so, anyways. D&D Shorts, he started out as that, people loved it, he got a lot of traction from that, and as a result of that, he had a high following. So now, when the whole Watsy thing happened, and he wanted to talk about the OGL, and the drama behind that, and the nonsense behind that, he actually had a pretty big platform to do that with. As a result, a lot of the people out there who were working in Wizards, silently, who did not like what was going on, right, they kept that to themselves, but they... They know that what's happening was wrong. They have a conscience, they have a soul. That's why I don't say with Wazards, I don't include the creators, the designers, the 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 you know module makers, the the people who actually are, you know, not executives. When I say Wazards, I'm talking executives. I just wanted that to be established. Uh, I'm talking about people who are the Palpatines, as OGs know what, what I'm talking about when I say Palpatines, right? They are on the politician side of things. They are, they are in the business side of things. They are the gray suits. They are the corporatists, okay? That's why I always distinguish when it comes to capitalism. You know, your capitalism is your grocery store. Your capitalism is your, you know, your mom and pop shops. You know, your capitalism is not your executives who are, <laughs> who are exploiting the system. I have a newsflash for you. It doesn't matter what the system is. It's a MacGuffin, okay? Every system is a MacGuffin. If it was socialism, if it was uh, uh, communism, these people would still be on the top. Make no mistake, okay? Please don't make any mistakes. Do not get yourself caught out there thinking, oh, these guys would not be able to do X, Y, Z. Yes, they would. Even in high school, they were the manipulators. Uh, next week, we'll be talking about manipulators in the office, by the way. That's the next. Uh, that's going to be the next uh, video. Um, the next office mindset video, personality video. Be on the lookout for that. That's a good one. That's going to be uh, probably my uh, my best one. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, back to my main point. Um, I'm telling you, man. This is not. This is this is not a. You know, this is going to be a wake up call for a lot of people. They thought this. You know, this corporation was their friend. They thought it was their 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 uh, their homie. They thought it was you know a community. No, man. It's business. And again, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what it is. It's a MacGuffin. They would have been on top either system. These are people who are power players when it comes to the system. Uh, I can't believe I said power players. They are. They are power players. 
You know, Lorraine Williams, is that what her name is? I feel like that's her name. I, I could be wrong. I apologize if that's not her name. Lorraine Williams, the CEO of, of Wazards, the, uh, the current CEO, uh, head exec, whatever, of Wazards, she was not at all, you know, on the on the creative side of things, she's not at all in the in the field. She doesn't even engage with the with the product. She doesn't talk about that. She doesn't, you know, she's all about the numbers. She's talking about monetizing. She came from Microsoft. See, doesn't matter what the company she's in. She's gonna find a way to make her way to the top. Okay, make no mistake. Doesn't matter what the job is. These guys are shapeshifters. Pick a place. They will fit. Pick a cup. They will fill that cup. Okay. So going back to my main point of this, uh, that's that's an aside. Going back to my main point is D and D shorts. He he had a lot of trust with the wizards people who are behind the scenes, not liking what's going on. They feel dis disillusioned. They feel you know concerned. They are very stressed out. They are feeling awful about everything that's happening, which is unfortunate. And I my heart goes out to them. Okay, it sucks to be working for a company you were a believer in, and now you have now you're waking up to the reality of the dark cold reality of this is a product to them. They don't see it anyway as a, as, as a people. They don't see the, the community as a people. They don't see the consumer as a person. They see it as an obstacle, a quote obstacle <laughs> to their wallet. It's crazy the entitlement complex there. Crazy. F figure that one out. Um, anyways. What really, what really got my goat was when that when I heard that. But uh, but that but that's an aside. When uh, the people reached out to D and G Shorts, I think it created a schism, honestly, between him and other um, people in the D and D space. I don't think that they were content cr uh, content creators as far as YouTubers. I think they're more more so because YouTubers tend to be more when it comes to this space. Uh, they tend to be more supportive, which is good. I'm, I'm glad there's not like a lot of backbiting. But I did notice a lot of backbiting when it came to people in the quote unquote D and D you know module community space. There's a lot of people who were talking smack about D and D shorts, saying, "Hey, this is not. There's no validity to what he's saying. We want you to out and dox the people who are actually." giving you the information these people are uh what i would call uh they, i mean they are snakes let's just call it what it is they're snakes you know throwing throwing a bone out there trying to get people to dox to get dox is just the snake behavior when they are whistleblowers and you are trying to get people to uh uh you know you're trying to rally the community against the the whistleblowers you know you're scum i mean that's just is what it is i mean i'm not ever gonna back down from that you should be okay with either a the people being behind the scenes and giving the dnd shorts uh information and and outing bad behavior right you know or say something say nothing say nothing you can say nothing you don't have to be okay with it just say nothing you know you don't have to be okay or like it just keep it to yourself because there's some things you just don't say right there's just some things out there you just got to be careful you know one of the things you don't say is hey you need to get these people out there why why would you discourage whistleblowing? I don't understand. Unless you're okay with the behavior, unless you engage with that kind of behavior, you identify what the dirty behaviors the CEO and execs are doing. You know, can you imagine somebody being that uh, consumeristic? You know, that they are they have that much loyalty to to Wazard's executives that that's what they <laughs> that's what they think and that that's what they put out there. Come on, man. Um, I'm not gonna name any names, but I saw some really scummy scummy pose man I, and it was not not even on twitter not even on twitter this time that's the that's the funniest part but anyways uh dnd shorts today basically reacted by having a lot of receipts and he had the, he had lawyers look through the receipts he had uh the people in other other resources other people who are sources inside of the the company um you know kind of uh read the actual post that he had from other insiders and kind of confirm. So he had multiple people confirming, yeah, this is correct. Yeah, that's correct. To the point where he can't even talk, he has to read through a script that's pre-approved. Uh, pre that's sad, man. I mean, I understand why he did it and I respect him for doing it. That's He's better than me because I would never kowtow to these people, ever. You know what I mean? It's his channel. It's his channel. Go create your own channel. I always laugh when people have an opinion about that. Go create your own channel. You think I engage with negativity like that? I have no time nor the patience to deal with that. I am on my way to somewhere. I'm going places. I'm doing things. I have a life. 
I don't have time for this, you know? And to be honest, no one should either. No one should feel like they have to engage with these idiots. I'm sorry, I'm calling them what they are, idiots. You don't need to deal with it. Such negativity, you know what I mean? You have people backbiting, complaining, whining. I'm like, why don't you create your own content? Go make your own platform. You disagree, cool. Go make your own platform, shill for them all the way to the bank. Let's see where it goes, okay? Because again, at the end of the day, the market is speaking, okay? You can get mad about it, but at the end of the day, that's what it is. People have self-respect. They see through the nonsense. It's their money. It's their wallet. They have a right to not spend their money at Wazards. They have a right to criticize Wazards as they see fit. They're a corporation. They're a public entity. You know, and if you want to criticize D&D shorts for it, fine, whatever. But at the end of the day, you not creating your con your own content, not putting stuff out there, not doing your own thing, not stepping up to the plate and saying, all right, I'm going to show you guys how to really do it. That just tells me everything I know about that person. You know, they're not they're not about it. They're just kind of talkers and people backbiting. They're just criticizing. It's like the guy when you're driving, it's like the backseat driver. Well, why don't you get your own car? and drive your own car. How about that? You don't like my driving? Cool. Let's go get your own car, go lease or, or rent or buy your own car and drive your own car. How about that? Drive it to your, to your liking, okay? You don't like my driving? No big deal. Cool. You drive your car. Thank you. You know what I mean? Can you believe that? It's unbelievable. Anyways, that's my gripe. And honestly, I just get the popcorn and I enjoy the, I'm just enjoying the nonsense. It's too funny to me. I'm all about being uplifting and positive and all that, but I will not, in my opinion, I will not ever, okay, tolerate the nonsense. I'm not tolerating it. I'm laughing about it and then moving on. Because at the end of the day, this is what these people do, man. They want that negative attention. No thanks. No thanks. I won't even name them. Not even naming names. I saw that. I saw it going around, saw a lot of that backbiting, and I said, dang, man. Then he reacted with the po with the video post he did, and I'm just like, dang, man. I can't believe you did it, but, you know, again, it's his channel. He did his own thing. God bless him, and God bless you. If you like this, hit the like button. I appreciate your time. God bless you guys. Have a great weekend. Have a great day. Oh, I'll probably post this on Monday, so have a great Monday. You know, I'm not, I'm no Garfield. I know people don't like Mondays, but I'm going to wish you a wonderful Monday, okay? God bless. Have a great day. Peace.